That's right, you saw the thumbnail correctly. I have a book haul. So as someone who has been on a book buying diet for many, many years, this is exciting for me is I have purchased books this month and I'm going to show you what I purchased. If this is the first time you are seeing my channel, my name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear and I am a reader and a writer. So let's get going. The first book I picked up in the month of October is Ancillary Justice by Anne Leckie. And this is about a ship AI who has many parts to themselves. They have Ancilla, Ancia, Ancillary, Ancillaries. Why can I not speak? They have Ancillaries in order to reach all different parts of their ship. Now this is set in an empire, a space empire, and how they get these Anci Ancillaries is when they conquer people, people who are not uh, willing to change to, to the new regime, their bodies become meat sacks for the ancil ancillaries. It's not an option that the people have and it's not an option that the ship AI has either. So the ship AI uses what they have. And in this world, ship AIs have affections, they have personalities, and they care about people. And when one of the officers on Justice of Torin is murdered, she does not react well. I guess she does not react very well. And the ship is destroyed. This is not a spoiler. This happens in like the first like chapter or so because this is all the backstory. But even though she is she is destroyed, one of her ancilla one of her ancillaries gets away. And then promises revenge on the Empire. I really love this series and so I'm very excited that I'm starting to buy these to add to my shelf so I can reread them. Most of what I bought are things that I have read and I've loved. When I was looking at books it was kind of hard to decide to buy something I hadn't read yet. Kind of like, will, will I like this? I mean, this shelf right behind me are all things that I'm either in the process of reading or have not read. It was like, do I want to add more to this shelf or more to my upper shelves? Were there things that I know I'm going to want to reread and I want to own? I had to balance that. So I bought that from one of my independent bookstores in my hometown. And the rest I got from the library. So, so next I bought Valor's Choice and The Heart of Valor by Tanya Huff. This is a series I'm currently reading. I just finished book four and I got noticed book five is now at the library. So this is actually book one and book three in that series. Both of the books I really, really enjoyed. And I'm again, it's a series that I know I'm gonna to wanna to reread, so I'm excited to own them. I realized I did not talk about these. So this follow, this series is following Torin Kerr, who when she first start, starts off, she's a staff sergeant and then slowly makes her way up to gunnery sergeant. She's a gunnery sergeant in the last book I read. and she's a space marine and she's fighting the others who they don't really know much about because the elder races in their confederation haven't talked about them so they're basically fighting a war for other races who don't want to fight and it's not just humans it's also the cry and the detaken or detaken again i'm enjoying it and then for the next series i got trading in danger Actually, it's Mark and Reprisal and then Engaging the Enemy. Wow, I just have all my series out of order, don't I? But this is the series That A War. I also read this one this year and really loved it. And this is the first three in the series. So I am very nicely collecting series that I'm enjoying so that I can reread them. I also didn't say what this one is about. This is follows Kai Vada, hence the That A War, as she, she begins the series in the Space Force Academy and because of her kind-hearted nature I guess you could say she she helps a fellow cadet who was having or from what she understood was having a religious crisis talk to one of their their religious leaders 
And instead of it being a religious crisis, it was supposed to be like an expose. And so then it gave a black eye to the Space Force Academy. And instead of that cadet getting kicked out, she got kicked out for helping without having all the facts. Her family, who never wanted her to be in the military, they are traitors. And so they were like, great, here's a ship. And she goes into that. But she gets to use the training of her Space Force Military Academy days in the series. Hence, the Vat of War is the overall name. Again, it's really good. You should pick it up. Even if you only read the first one, because the first one is a very nice self-contained story, it's really good. So for the last book I bought at the library sale, I have not read, but I keep wanting to. And that is The Lies of Locke Lamora. So this is something to go on the shelf right behind me in the hopes that I will read it sometime soon. So this has been very popular, and what I know of it is it's about a heist and has a nice found family element. And Murphy Napier loves this. <laughs> That's really what I know about it. So those are all the books that I bought in October. I don't know if I'm going to be buying more books here in the future or when, so I don't know when another haul video will be shown, but this was a lot of fun, and I'm excited to have more books for my collection that I can reread in the future. Thank you, and have a great day!